very good morning today we are going to solve a simple circuit on single phase transformer to calculate its efficiency and voltage regulation at the full load take down this problem a 15 kilovolt ampere 1100 bar 110 volts 50 hertz single phase uh, transformer as a uh, following test, test results in the open circuit tester we have the open circuit voltage of 110 volts comma the open circuit current as 0 0.8 amperes and comma 90 watts that means uh, the open circuit test uh, that uh, watts is 90 watts next is in the short circuit test uh, we got uh, 70 volts uh, next uh, 12 amperes and uh, 100 watts Determine the efficiency and regulation at a full load. At full load, at a zero point eight power factor lag. This is what I given in the question. So, <coughs> the formula for a percentage efficiency goes like this: uh, per percentage efficiency is equal to x into kVA into cos phi divided by x into KVA, that means a rated uh, rating of the transformer into cos phi plus PA plus X squared PCU. That means iron loss and copper loss. PA is iron loss, PCU is copper loss into 100, where X is nothing but a load percentage. So here it is given as full load, full load. So the X is 1. Okay. Next is percentage regulation is equal to E2 minus V2 divided by E2 into 100. Okay, so that is a uh, percentage voltage regulation is equal to I2 R02 cos phi 2 plus or minus I2 into X02 sin phi 2 divided by E2 into 100. So for regulation, so if it is a, so it is here lagging uh, power factor is given. So lagging means you need to take uh, plus here. If leading power factor is there, uh, you need to take minus over here. Okay. Now, from the short circuit test, we can easily calculate the impedance. So, Z0 1 is equal to VSE divided by ISC. So, VSE is what? It is given in the problem. The short circuit VSE is uh, 70 divided by ISC is what? ISC is 12 amperes. So, uh, we can easily calculate uh, Z0 1 that is 5.833 volts. Now, we are calculating for we need to calculate x not one <coughs> also so here we need to calculate r not one so r not one is equal to um, so power is equal to i squared r so r is equal to p divided by i squared so uh, r not one is equal to wsc divided by isc squared wsc is what wsc um okay so what is the uh, power we got it in the short circuit test is 100 watts divided by isc is a uh, 12 Okay. So, WS is 100 watts divided by IS is uh, 12, okay, 12 square. So, if you calculate, we'll get, we got the answer is 0 0.694 volts. Now, X0, so X0 one reactance, X0 one is equal to square root of uh, Z0 one minus R0 one square. So, Z0 one we already calculated, that is 5.833 squared minus a uh, this R01 also be calculated 0 0.694. So if you further simplification, we'll got the answer as X01 is equal to 5.792 volts. Now uh, we are uh, going to calculate what is a uh, uh, cos phi. Okay, so here uh, cos phi is 0.8 is given. So 0.8, so phi is equal to cos inverse of 0.8. That is a uh, uh, at the angle phase angle 36.86 degree. Now, <coughs> sine phi also we are going to calculate for calculating the working component and magnetizing magnetizing component. So, sine phi is equal to sine into this degree. So, we got sine phi as 0.6. Now, we are going to find out what is the voltage regulation. So, voltage regulation is equal to a no load voltage. Okay. So, minus full load voltage divided by okay. So, that is the formula for calculating the voltage regulation.
okay so no load voltage minus full load so no load uh, voltage minus full load into 100 so um, this uh, percentage voltage regulation is nothing but uh, so yeah the uh, i1 r not one uh, cos phi plus i1 x not one sin phi divided by e1 okay so that means uh, um, here with respect to primary we are taking so with respect to all primary we are taking so you uh, no problem if you take uh, respect to secondary also same answer will come so now uh, just for uh, our calculation i did uh, with respect to primary and as well as with respect to secondary also now we are uh, calculating this regulation with respect to primary so here i1 is equal to uh, this uh, kva rating divided by so kva rating is uh, 15 kva again. so 15 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by e1 is uh, 1100 that is given in the problem Okay. So, E1 is 1100. So, 1100 we are substituting and we can easily find out what is I. So, I1 we got it as 13.63 amperes. Now, percentage voltage regulation. So, I1 into R01. So, R01 also we calculated. Cos phi also we calculated. Side phi also we calculated. E1 also we know. So, we are finding out the percentage voltage regulation with respect to primary. Uh, so, that's why we have taken I1 R01. So, I1 is what? So, I1 is 13.63 into R01 is 0 0.694. So, R01 we got, uh, we got it as 0 0.694 into cos phi. So, cos phi is 0.8. This is given in the problem. Cos phi is 0.8. That means power factor is given in the problem as 0.8. So, here we are substituting 0.8. Plus again I1 into X01. X01 uh, we calculated as 5.792. So 5.792 into sin phi. Sin phi. So sin phi we calculated as 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 into 100. So because in percentage, no, so into 100. So if you calculate, simplify this, we got answer as 0 0.0499 into 100. So into 100 is percentage voltage regulation at full load is 4.99. Next, uh, with respect to secondary, also we are calculating. Actually, this is not needed. Either one is required. So, somebody, uh, what they will do? So, no, I will calculate only with respect to secondary. Okay, what is that calculated? So, and the formula is uh, the same. So, here, uh, percentage uh, regulation, voltage regulation. Here, I2 into R0 to cos phi. Plus I2 into X0 to sin phi divided by E2 into 100. So here um, we are calculating I2 and as well as R0, uh, R0 to I2 and X0. So R0 to we didn't calculate it, but uh, we can calculate with respect to transformation ratio. So already I have explained in my previous video with respect to uh, primary how to draw, with respect to secondary how to draw the input circuit. Uh, that also I will uh, give in the description. That also once you see. Now, uh, transformation ratio we are calculating. Transformation ratio K is equal to V2 divided by V1. This is equal to N2 divided by N. So, V2 is what given in the problem as uh, 110 divided by V1 is uh, 1100. So, uh, we can easily calculate transformation ratio K as 0. So, with the, if you want to calculate R02, uh, that means uh, uh, primary we have, primary we already calculated, that is R02. If you want to calculate with respect to secondary, so into K square. Okay, so, so in some cases, if the primary is given, say for example, sorry, secondary is given, we need to convert into primary means divided by K square. That's our difference. So, R02 is equal to K square into R02. So, R01 we calculated 0 0.694. So, K squared is 0 0.1 squared. So, uh, for the simplification, we got uh, R02 as 0 0.00694 ohms. Similarly, X02 also we are finding. So, X02 is equal to K, K squared into X01. So, K squared is 0 0.1 squared into it. X01 is already we calculated uh, here. X01. So, that uh, 5.792. That we are uh, substituting over here and we got uh, x naught to as 0 0.05792 so now uh, we are calculating secondary full load secondary full load current that means i2 i2 means uh, uh, the power uh, rating uh, rated uh, the 
power rating of the transformer that means uh, uh, that is mentioned in kva you know so 15 kva so 15 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by e2 that's with respect to i2 we have got e2 one thing so if you simplify this we got the answer as i2 as 136.36 amperes no now percentage voltage regulation we need to calculate so percentage voltage regulation is equal to the same formula here i2 into r not to cos phi uh, plus i2 into x not to sin phi divided by e2 into r so now here we are substituting what is a um, i2 so i2 i am taking outside because i2 is common i2 i have taken outside so i2 is 136.36 into uh, this uh, uh, r not to into cos uh, phi next to x not to into sin phi so r not to that is a uh, we calculated r not to as 0 0.00694 into R not to into cos phi. So cos phi is 0.8. Next is x down to also be calculated 0 0.05792 into sin phi. Sin phi is what? We calculated sin phi as uh, 0.6. So here we are uh, substituting uh, 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 x not to into sin phi. So into 100 divided by e2. So e2 is what? One so that uh, we are simplifying it. Uh, well, simplifying by using the scientific calculator, we got the answer as 0 0.0499 into 100. So, percentage voltage regulation at full load is equal to 4.99 percentage. So, same with respect to secondary also 4.99 percentage. With respect to primary also, we got the 4.99 percentage. Because uh, here uh, formula uh, we have taken as uh, with respect to primary so here uh, next uh, with respect to secondary also got the same percentage uh, four point so either one in the exam you can have with uh, respect to the values what they have but uh, uh, here uh, why i did two uh, just two uh, no uh, so uh, with respect to primary itself enough because uh, all uh, data given with respect to primary. Okay? So if you want to calculate uh, secondary also, there is no issues. You can calculate. Now we need to uh, calculate the, uh, the percentage regulation, sorry, efficiency. So we need to calculate percentage efficiency. So for that, uh, uh, we, uh, we need to, so what is the percentage efficiency uh, formula is uh, X into, that means uh, percentage of load, X into, uh, Rated, uh, rated of the transformer rating, that means in KVA, into cos phi, divided by x into transformer rating into cos phi, plus PA plus x squared into um, copper loss. <coughs> okay, copper loss, this is the iron loss, okay, into 100. So we need a copper loss and iron loss. So iron loss is constant, uh, uh, that is given in the problem. So, iron loss at any load is constant. So, that is given in the problem as uh, um, 90 watts. So, as it is a uh, and cube, there we are calculating iron loss. So, as it is uh, 90 watts, we are taking. But uh, copper loss, uh, because copper loss is uh, uh, not, as, uh, not given in the full load. Because full load uh, current is what? Uh, full load current we calculate, you know, 30 point. Uh, yeah. So full load current we calculate you know, 13.63 amperes. So with respect to full load current, um, because in the uh, problem it is given not with respect to full load current. So they have calculated some uh, randomly taken some full amperes and calculated uh, uh, losses as uh, 100 watts. Copper loss as 100. In short circuit we got copper loss. So in the copper while taking 12 amperes. Uh, uh, the co losses copper loss we got this hundred but uh, if you sir uh, but in the uh, problem they asked to calculate the efficiency of full load clearly mentioned so it is not with respect to full load because full load is 13.3 uh, uh, yeah 13.63 amperes so uh, here only 12 12 amperes only the, uh, the value is given so we need to convert that into <coughs> full load so for that uh, uh, so, uh, copper loss uh, at full load is equal to I squared R. So, I uh, full load is squared into R. So, with respect to copper loss at uh, um, copper loss at uh, whatever given in the problem. So, that also we are taking over here. Okay. So, with respect to full load, 
uh, so with respect to some uh, short circuit that is given in the problem for 12 lap days okay but, uh, 12 lap days some current is uh, given. okay so uh, so what we are doing is um, that the ratio we are calculating and easily you can calculate the uh, uh, copper loss in the full load. So because power is equal to I square R, no? so copper loss at full load is equal to I uh, full load square into R divided by copper loss uh, at uh, uh, some percentage of the, that means 12 lap is equal to R, that also IAC square into R. So this R and R will cancel. So now copper loss at full load we not need, no? so this will becomes this side. So IFL full load square divided by IAC squared into uh, copper loss uh, and, uh, what given <coughs> copper loss at the full load is equal to IFL square divided by IAC squared into this copper loss of the short circuit what is given in the problem. So I uh, full load we calculate. Okay, IFL uh, full load current in the full load is equal to rated KV divided by E1. So rated KV is 15 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by E1 is given in the problem. As per the problem, it is 1100. If you simplify this, we will get the I full load as 13.363 amperes. So it is amperes I must here. So here, um, uh, I full load is equal to 13.63 squared divided by ISE. ISE is what? That is given in the problem. Okay, as per the problem, IAC is 12 lapis and uh, the losses, uh, copper, lo uh, copper loss is 100. So, that uh, we need to multiply here. So, copper loss is uh, 100 watts and IAC is 12 lapis as per the problem. So, if you simplify this with the scientific calculator, we got the copper loss at full load as 129.01 watts. So, this is what we need to add over here. Okay, <coughs> because iron loss is constant, that is given in the problem, that is open circuit uh, power, that is the iron loss. Okay, so open circuit power is the iron loss, that is given in the problem as open circuit is the iron loss. Doing the open circuit test, we will calculate the iron loss, while doing the short circuit test, we will calculate the copper loss. So, the open circuit test uh, is always constant um, for any kind of load, it means a full load. Um, constant that is maintains constant so it is uh, 90 90 watts is so 90 <coughs> as it is uh, we are taking it. as it is we are taking it so percentage of the load x you know so x is 100 percent so uh, one okay so 100 percentage uh, is one okay we are taking 100 as one okay so one into uh, this one kv uh, rated uh, with, uh, rated uh, rating of the transformer is 15 into 10 to the power of 3 that is 15 kV into cos 5 0.8 divided by x 1 because 100 percent into kV um, that is a rated of the rating of the transformer it is 15 into 10 to the power of 3 into cos 5 0.8 plus uh, PA PA is given in the problem as 90 watts okay plus 1 squared into copper loss at full load we calculated 129.0 so now, if you simplify all these things into 100, we got the uh, percentage efficiency as 98.20 percentage. That means this is the efficiency of the full load at 0 0.8 power factor lagging. So this is the uh, answer for this particular problem.